Fantastic. Look at that. A celebration of cuisine and flavor. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Flash in a Pan, the only show where magic happens in a pan and we bring it to your plates. Today, we're going to make beef noodles with a bit of a Japanese twist. To make this amazing dish, you're going to need beef, you're going to need noodles, naturally. You're going to need spring onion, you're going to need red peppers, you're going to need salt, garlic, a bit of black pepper, and soy sauce. And please don't forget the sesame oil, very essential. Let's get to it. Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Flash in a Pan. Today we're going to learn how to make beef noodles. Now this recipe is a little bit of a Japanese fusion. So let's go and see how it goes. First off, we just need one clove of garlic. We're going to cut that up into as little a piece as we can. It seems that the dish should be around 20 minutes or so. Shouldn't, shouldn't take that long. It's one of my favorite bachelor foods. So guys out there, do give it a go. Next up, we're gonna get some spring onion. Voila. And what I'm gonna do is go all the way through, but we're only gonna use the white half for cooking and the other half just for some decoration and some aesthetic. Put aside. Let's go through and introduce some red pepper. Now what you're gonna do with the red pepper is just in half and then just go down the middle. And since we're making noodles, it's gonna be kind of like a strip formation. So you just wanna go and do what you would normally do to a fajita. Now this is just my own personal favorite to just go through and do some strips. Naturally you can do cubes or even you can use other different types of colors. It's really up to you. So definitely do go out and customize as they say. So it's pretty crunchy at the moment, but it'll soften during the cooking process. So let's heat up our uh, pan. Add this generously, I would say. And add the rest of your ingredients through. All right. Wonderful. Now we're gonna add some other ingredients. Essentially what you're gonna need is some sesame oil. Now sesame oil is usually used in these types of uh, oriental uh, dishes. It gives it that really kind of smooth flavor, I think. It's pretty great. Everyone in the studio right now is feeling some Japanese food and voila. We just need to add a little bit of salt where we can. Brilliant. So while that's cooking, we're gonna get on to the noodles. So guys, now the main ingredient for this, well, one of the main ingredients is the noodles. And usually get these fresh packages and they come out pretty raw at the moment. So as you can see, they come apart with some pull. And uh, there's four varieties of this, and you can get them in yawa, futsu, kata, or barikata. And that's Japanese for essentially soft, medium, or pretty hard. And that depends on how much you want to boil them. So if you want them kind of al dente, you boil them for maybe five minutes, if you want them a bit softer, go for the seven, 10 minute mark. Personally, I like them pretty rough, pretty hard, so they go well with the beef. Right, now that the noodles are all boiled, we're gonna put them right in the wok. Voila. Keep the temperature up, it should be absolutely fine. Just mix it in with the vegetables already there. The aroma should be something you'd expect in a Japanese Chinese restaurant. So that's usually a good sign. We're gonna add some soy sauce, as you normally would. Just a few splashes, enough to give it some color and some new flavor. Now's the time where we add all the remainder 
of our spring onions. So that includes all the green bits, essentially. Just bring them over here, carve through. Right, now that the noodles seem to be done, just how I like them, a little bit hard, a little bit al dente, we're gonna bring them over and pour evenly across our plate. Absolutely beautiful. Second of all comes the beef. Right, what's important about the beef here and what's important to remember is we're not making kebabs, guys. We're making this kind of steak fusion that's going to go with the noodles. So first things first, going to get my garlic, fantastic, and going to shave it all over the actual steak. Be careful with your hands, just put it all across there. What we're also going to add is a little bit of salt and spread that evenly across through it. There we go. Do the other side. Fantastic. Spread it across. Again, a little bit of salt. And rub it all the way through. Now what you're going to need for the actual gas is just a tiny bit of oil, guys. Trust me, you don't want to make it start bubbling up and it goes poof, 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 as soon as you put the steak on. You want everything nice and gentle. Gentle is key. Just gonna pick a little bit. It kind of looks like I'm in some genius's lab or something. <laughs> you put just a tiny, tiny portion. There we go, should be enough. And turn on your gas. And we're using this because we're back in the 1950s. Front left, ah, oh, amazing. Spread evenly, and as you can see here, as you can see, we have a very relaxed <laughs> and massaged out steak here with some garlic infused. Ah, hear that? That's the sound of success. Fantastic. What you want is just to reduce the gas a little bit so it doesn't go too crazy, and just evenly spread it out. Now remember, you don't want to keep bashing the meat until it flattens out, just leave it. As the butcher gives it to you, take it directly. Make sure it doesn't get muddled with. Make sure you're not stamping it, make sure you're not flattening it, because that removes all the juices. You want it to kind of come together as it's in the frying pan. Beautiful. Right. Now you may wonder, what's the difference between this and any other steak? Well, the difference here is, my friends, is that you're gonna need a little bit of soy sauce. You're gonna spread across the top. Just a few splashes, just to darken the top bit. What you're gonna need to do now is very, very slowly, just put underneath, just flip it underneath and flip the whole thing over. Increase the heat just a little bit. Mmm, mmm. Smells phenomenal. Got all that garlic, got all that salt, everything. Giving it a nice, oof, that smells fantastic. Everyone here in the studio is salivating. And remember guys, always keep an eye on it. Make sure it's, it's not getting any dark around the sides. Make sure it's not getting too crispy. We really don't want that. We want all the juices to be infused within it, to be merged within. Fantastic, let's bring it around up. Gonna add some more soy sauce. Nice. It should look something like this. So you've got a mixture of kind of the steak's own juices all blending in very nicely with the garlic and salt as well. I'm also gonna add a very vital ingredient to the, some black pepper. Just gonna put a few dashes in there. And that's pretty important. Usually, uh, things that go with beef, usually salt and pepper, it's, it's your standard kind of thing. But what makes 
What gives this its main flavor is again, all the sauces that are being infused within it. Just give it a nice go. All right, so that should suffice. I'm just gonna relay it back here. Voila. And I'm gonna pour all the sauce just all around. And over here, here's my favorite thing to do when I have this dish on lock, which is to just very slowly, just cut it from the side. Right guys, this is round about the texture that I personally really love it to be like, very juicy, very, ah, oh, absolutely fantastic. Can't wait to eat this. Um, again, you guys can definitely customize this however thick, however juicy you want it, it's completely up to you. Cut it through, make sure that you give it the shape that you want. I, again, with, because it's noodles, I like to strip the red peppers, like to strip the beef, so it all goes together pretty well. Ah, beautiful. All right, put it on the side, all the way through. Absolutely beautiful. And because I'm a bit of a chili freak, I'm gonna put some nice spread of the chili. Let's give it a little bit more. And boom. Fantastic, there we go. For noodles and red peppers, spring onion, noodles, fantastic. <laughs>